frozen hope. Exploring the idea of cryonics. Cryonics, derived from the Greek word cryos, meaning icy cold, offers a glimmer of hope in the face of mortality. It is the practice of preserving legally deceased individuals at ultra-low temperatures. The idea is to halt decay and buy time until future medical advancements can potentially restore them to life. Cryonics operates on the principle that death, as we currently understand it, might not be entirely irreversible. It proposes that by preserving the body's structure, particularly the brain, we might retain the essence of a person. This concept has captivated the imagination of scientists, philosophers, and the general public alike, sparking curiosity and debate for decades. Cryonics is not about cheating death, but rather about extending life's possibilities. It presents a bold vision where the boundaries of life and death become blurred. Imagine a future where today's incurable diseases are mere inconveniences, treatable with advanced technology. Cryonics enthusiasts believe that by preserving bodies at extremely low temperatures, we can bridge the gap between our current medical limitations and the potential of future scientific breakthroughs. While still in its infancy, the field of cryonics continues to evolve, fueled by ongoing research and technological advancements. The journey begins. From legal death to cryopreservation, the cryonics process begins immediately after legal death is declared. Speed is crucial to minimize damage to tissues and organs. A team of trained professionals swiftly initiates the preservation process. The body is first cooled to a low temperature to slow down metabolic processes and reduce cellular decay. This is followed by replacing the body's fluids with cryoprotective agents. These agents act like antifreeze, preventing ice crystal formation that can damage delicate cell structures. The next step is vitrification, a process that transforms the body into a glass-like state. This involves cooling the body to extremely low temperatures, typically around minus 196 degrees Celsius, using liquid nitrogen. Vitrification prevents ice crystal formation, preserving the body's structure at a microscopic level. Once vitrified, the body is placed in a specialized container called a cryostat. The cryostat is a double-walled, vacuum-insulated vessel filled with liquid nitrogen, ensuring long-term storage at stable temperatures. Cryonics Down Under, the first Australian cryonics case. In 2017, Australia witnessed its first cryonics case, marking a significant milestone for the movement in the Southern Hemisphere. The case involved a terminally ill woman in her 70s who chose to be cryopreserved at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation in Arizona, USA. Her family, respecting her wishes, made arrangements for her cryopreservation after her legal death. This event sparked widespread media attention and public discourse in Australia, raising awareness about cryonics and its ethical implications. The case highlighted the growing interest in cryonics as a potential life extension option, even in countries where the practice is relatively new. It also underscored the importance of legal and logistical frameworks to facilitate the transportation and storage of cryopreserved individuals across international borders. Suspended animation awaiting future revival. Cryopreserved bodies are not considered alive, nor are they considered dead in the traditional sense. They exist in a state of suspended animation. Their biological process is halted, but their structural integrity preserved. The hope of cryonics lies in the possibility of future technological advancements that could potentially repair the damage caused by aging, disease, and the cryopreservation process itself. Imagine a future where nanotechnology allows us to repair cells at the molecular level, reversing the effects of aging and disease. Perhaps advanced artificial intelligence could decipher the intricate workings of the human brain, enabling the transfer of consciousness to a new substrate. While these scenarios remain speculative, they illustrate the potential of future technologies to overcome the limitations that currently prevent the revival of cryopreserved individuals. Section 5. Ethical Crossroads. Navigating the debates around cryonics. Cryonics, like many emerging technologies, sits at the intersection of science, ethics, and societal values, sparking intense debates and raising profound questions. One of the most pressing ethical concerns revolves around the definition of death and the implications of cryopreservation for personal identity and continuity. Critics argue that cryonics blurs the line between life and death, potentially leading to legal and social complications. Furthermore, questions arise about the allocation of resources, both financial and technological. Cryonics remains an expensive endeavor, potentially exacerbating existing inequalities in access to life-extending technologies. 
Others express concerns about the potential psychological and societal impacts of reviving individuals from the past, potentially disrupting existing social structures and relationships. Section 6. Glimmers of Hope. Evidence and Examples Supporting Cryonics. Despite the skepticism, there are glimmers of hope and scientific evidence that lend credence to the potential of cryonics. One compelling example comes from the field of cryobiology, the study of life at low temperatures. Scientists have successfully cryopreserved and revived simple organisms, such as bacteria, yeast, and some insects, demonstrating the possibility of preserving biological structures at ultra-low temperatures. Moreover, advancements in tissue engineering and organ transplantation provide further encouragement. Scientists are making progress in developing techniques to cryopreserve and revive organs, offering hope for future applications in human cryopreservation. While these advancements do not guarantee the eventual revival of cryopreserved humans, they demonstrate the potential of cryonics to push the boundaries of what's possible in life preservation. Section 7 the skeptic's view, counter-arguments, and uncertainties. Skeptics of cryonics raise valid concerns, highlighting the scientific and logistical challenges that remain. One of the main criticisms is that current cryopreservation techniques, while effective in preserving structure, cannot guarantee the preservation of consciousness or personality. The brain, with its intricate network of neurons and synapses, presents a significant challenge for cryopreservation. Furthermore, Skeptics point to the lack of a proven method for reviving cryopreserved humans. Even if future technologies could repair the damage caused by aging, disease, and cryopreservation, there is no guarantee that consciousness would be restored. Moreover, the ethical and societal implications of reviving individuals from the past raise complex questions about identity, adaptation, and social integration. Section 8. A Bridge to the Future Cryonics and its potential impact. Cryonics, despite the uncertainties, offers a tantalizing glimpse into a future where death might not be the end. It represents a bold experiment, a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of extending life's boundaries. While the prospect of reviving cryopreserved individuals remains speculative, the potential benefits are enormous. Imagine a future where incurable diseases are eradicated, where aging is reversed, and where death becomes a choice rather than an inevitability. The impact of cryonics, if successful, would be profound, revolutionizing our understanding of life and death. It could lead to a paradigm shift in healthcare, focusing on life extension and disease prevention rather than simply treating symptoms. Moreover, it could alter our perception of time and mortality, offering new perspectives on life planning, personal growth, and legacy. Section 9. Conclusion. A Balanced Perspective on Cryonics. Cryonics is a complex and multifaceted issue with no easy answers. It represents a convergence of scientific aspirations, ethical dilemmas, and societal anxieties. While the promise of future revival remains uncertain, the pursuit of cryonics reflects our innate desire to transcend our limitations and explore the unknown. Whether cryonics ultimately succeeds in its ambitious goals or not, it serves as a catalyst for critical discussions about life, death, and the possibilities that lie beyond the horizon of our current understanding.